Hello friends, welcome to Science With Me. My name is Dr. Erica with the Rosie Research and we are making some fun paper circuit projects. This is gonna be a paper circuit airplane. It's the kite airplane. And it's sort of been worked out on where we put the battery and everything so that it still can fly. So for this project, you're gonna need our printout and you need to print it on double-sided. So the these parts up here with the lines should be in the blank spot up here. So if the lines are down here, you're gonna have it sort of flip-flopped. So you need that template, you can get it at patreon.com slash rosyresearch or online at rosyresearch.com. You need your conductive tape and a non-conducting tape. So that could be scotch tape or masking tape. I suggest the clear scotch tape if you are working on your own. I have the masking tape, so it's a little easier for you guys to see what where I'm putting my tape and what we're working on. You need a queen cell battery. So I use CR2032 batteries, and then you need some LEDs. I have a whole bunch of them. Sometimes we need scissors. I don't think we need it for this one. So let's get started. On all of our paper circuit airplane templates, we sort of go from one to two to three as you go. So you have to find where one is. Here is in this top corner, and it tells us to fold top edge down along the blue line. So we're gonna sort of just go from line to line here. And the kite airplane, we're getting it ready, that has a lot of these roll folds. So you're gonna really wanna press down. And you'll notice once one is done, two sort of pops up. So we're gonna, again, roll it and fold it. I'm gonna press down really, really hard. Do your best to keep these as straight as possible. It's gonna make your finished product a whole lot nicer. The more time you spend here getting really good creases and trying to keep it nice and straight is gonna really pay off in the end. All right, and we keep rolling this until it tells us to stop. I think it has about eight rolls. If you find that you get to the end before you've done your eight rolls, that's okay. You can always just do a few less rolls. So we're sort of just rolling it up. This gives the front this nice, heavy, really sturdy piece. All right, and this is one of my favorite paper airplane circuits that we've got. All right. So here is it all rolled up and you'll notice number three doesn't pop up. So I'm gonna flip it over and see, there's my number three, it pops up right here. I'm gonna use copper tape to follow this dark yellow line. And one really important thing is when I get to the edge, I'm going to roll it around the edge and follow it along here. This needs to be done in one single piece of copper tape. So get yourself a nice long piece of copper tape just in case something happens. You're gonna get it started with your fingernail. And with all of our paper circuits, once we start it, we don't peel it all the way off. We, pe we start sticking it straight to the paper. Then we go inside of this circle. Really important to be inside, but not outside the circle. All right, so you're gonna go inside the circle and I'm gonna start following this yellow line. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can go like sort of little jumps and just press down in different places. When I get to the edge, I'm not gonna rip it. So if your paper um, or if your copper tape rips at any point, you're gonna wanna start over, all right? So I'm gonna come over here and now I'm going to fold it so it comes this way. And to fold your copper tape, you actually sort of bend it the opposite way. So I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna bend it up and I can now sort of fold it over my finger like that. All right, so I'm gonna put this down till I get here. And now I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna fold it towards the right because I want to go left and that gives me a little bend in that copper tape that I can use to fold it without ripping it okay so this is still all one really long piece of copper tape I haven't ripped it I'm being really careful about that because if it rips those little electrons can't get to the next highway then I'm going to rip it at the very end of it and I'm going to take my thumbnail and I'm just going to sort of press or any nail really. I'm gonna press everything down really gently and carefully. Don't wanna rip it after all of that hard work. We do wanna make sure it's nice and solid. All right, number four is gonna be the same type of thing, but we're gonna be on the same piece side of the paper, so we don't have to go over the paper this time. I wonder if I can, I think I will have enough, just barely, to do this one. So I'm going to now run the copper tape along this line. Again, at the corner, I'm not gonna rip it. I'm gonna fold it up and come back down just like that. All right, and then press it down. If it rips, you're gonna wanna start over for that piece. That's really important 
because those, again, those electrons, they can't get through the glue of the tape. And so if it rips, you no longer have the ability for your circuit to be complete. All right, oh, it's just ever so shy. So I am actually going to press this down and redo it. All right, so I'm gonna give myself a bigger piece of copper tape and I will do that again really quickly. All right, so I've laid down another piece of copper tape. This one I made a little bit longer. It makes it all the way to the end. It doesn't go around the paper at any point and it is all one nice long piece. All right, so now it is time to install our LEDs. So we are gonna check that our LEDs work and I'm gonna install a red, well, let's double check that we can do red and green. Sometimes the LEDs will not light different colors at the same time. So let's double check that those will work. Good, I can do red and green together. This tells me my battery is working and my LEDs are working and they'll work in combination. So that works great. And I am going to add these into my circuit. So the short side of the leg is the one that goes up here on both of these sides. So these LEDs, they have a longer leg and a shorter leg. The short leg is what I'm gonna tape in here. And you'll notice that when I'm getting ready to tape it in, the leg needs to be on top of that copper tape. That's gonna be really, really important. All right, if it's not on top of the copper tape, it can't make contact. Now, if you want, you can just tape it down like this. And I wanna show you a quick little trick if you find it's not working as well. What you can do is take a little piece of copper tape, haven't even taken the backing off, and I'm just going to press that in here. And what I can do is I can actually tape this over the leg as well. So as I tape it down, that part goes over the leg as well, and that helps it get even better contact. All right, so if you find you're having trouble, that's one thing that you can do. I'm gonna come over on the other side. I'm gonna make sure it's my short leg, and I'm going to also take this down. And again, if you wanted to even, you could take this little extra paper off if you wanted, and you could tape it down onto that masking tape or scotch tape you have, that's totally fine. It just gives you a little bit extra connection on taping those LED legs down. All right, the better the connection we have, the easier it will be for our circuit to work. So I've taped in both of the short legs. These are the short legs that are on the top of the paper, they're taped in. I'm gonna now flip it over and do my long legs. Now you'll notice here on my red LED, the long leg's not actually touching that copper tape. That's really, really bad. I'm gonna bend my long leg, sort of like an S right there, so that it can touch that tape, all right? And I am going to keep doing my little trick just to make sure that this works. I want it to be really easy to light up and that's a great little trick to do. You don't need a huge piece of tape for it, but it will help make it work. Same thing with the green LED. I want it to touch as much of the copper tape as possible. All right, so I'm gonna just sort of bend it into like a little bit of an S so that it can do that a little bit better. And then I will take my scotch tape or my masking tape or my duct tape, so your non-conducting tape. I'm gonna add this tiniest little piece right there. And I am going to press that right on top of my LED leg. All right. So my LEDs are in, my copper tape is in. So now we are going to Check out number six, we're gonna fold sort of along this center line and we're gonna fold it so these faces come together. So I'm gonna fold this here. I'm just gonna fold all the way up like that. I'm gonna press this down really gently. We don't wanna rip that copper tape right now. That'd be kind of a huge bummer as we're all done. I'm gonna press it really good. And then there's also sort of these dotted lines and that's where our wings are gonna come down at. So you wanna come down fold it down on that dotted line as well. All right. Oops, I'm a little bit off, but that will be okay. And I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna fold this wing down. Also, you can kind of see the paper airplane taking form already. So I have this great paper airplane like this, 
but it's not working yet and that's because my battery is not in there. So if I plop my battery in and I pinch it, both of my LEDs go on. Now the way that you put your battery in is that the plus side has to face here. So I like to tape it down so I can see the plus side. So I tape it so I can see the plus side and the plus, which is the circle that's outlined in orange. And I'm gonna just add little tiny bits of tape to keep that battery secure. I wanna make sure I don't tape over where this copper tape would touch. So I'm gonna tape right around these edges right here, just to make sure that it's nice and safe. All right, so we'll double check. When that's pinched, both of my lights go on. Um, number seven says to tape sort of around these edges. So we're gonna tape right here and we're gonna tape in the back. And you'll notice that once I'm taped in both spots, my LEDs are on, which will let it fly. If you find you have problems, you could always use sort of like a paper clip. If you needed to, you can use um, a binder clip if you need to. Just know that it's gonna sort of change the weight of your paper airplane so it might fly a little differently but i found that if we tape around the front and the back then it's on and we are ready to fly this paper airplane and get going thank you guys so much for joining me on this project i had so much fun with you and check out our other paper search circuit projects at rosyresearch.com or on patreon.com slash rosyresearch. We will see you soon. Bye friends. Bye.